vehicle comes in for new tires and go to pull it into the parking lot and it just stalls out and doesn't start back up was running fine so we test fuel right here we got fuel that was a quick 30 second test and next thing we checked for was spark no spark coming off the distributor a little four dollar spark tester right there and uh the crankshaft sensor is working because the rpms are moving when you crank it next thing we're gonna do we labeled the distributor so we don't mix up the wires we're gonna pull all those wires off pull the wiring harness off your coil right here and check for voltage it while somebody's cranking it check for 12 volts on that wire there and uh, look for corrosion seeing how this is a dodge it's pretty common around these parts for this to get all crusty on the coil all right so we have voltage here let's see if we have spark coming out of our coil and uh, i pulled the cap off because check out those spark plugs won't budge like i put the pliers on them tried twisting it's got the metal sheaths around it they've been in there a long time i knew this thing was going to need a tune-up so on top of this diagnostic we're going to do a tune-up look inside the cap and it is disgusting these little look at that it's just coming off in my hand so we're definitely going to get a tune-up in here and let's test to see if we have any spark coming out of that coil so we're going to put our coil wire back on and we're not sure if this coil wire is bad that could also be the case so we can check for connectivity I can never say that word in this wire. See what kind of resistance we have. Make sure this wire is still good. But we have power going to the coil, but no spark. So it's somewhere between the coil and the distributor. Let's see what's going on. All right, we're on both ends of the coil wire and using a simple multimeter test. There is no connectivity between the wire. The wire is blown. Bad coil wire confirmed. But we're gonna go ahead and give this baby a tune up. We got our new spark plug wire set here. Here's our new coil wire. We're at 14. So this wire is good. We no breaks in the wire internally whereas the other one it was just open loop no connectivity all the way through sick we got our old rotor and our new rotor it was pretty powdered up it's pretty caked so uh, why not just replace the coil wire well it looks like this vehicle could get some use out of a tune-up and uh rotor five bucks cap 12 bucks uh coil 22 dollars spark plug wires were the most expensive at 40. so uh you know a couple dollars for some spark plugs cool cool she's alive